Hi there. Today we're learning about queries in uh, Microsoft Access 2007. Uh, queries uh, usually use uh, operators such as like, or, and. Um, you've also got uh, what are known as logical operators, and that's your you know uh, greater than sign, your less than sign, your equal sign. You've got one called in and another called between. Um, so let's go ahead and let's create a few queries. The best way to see this is to just do it in Access. So right here, um, I've got a table called Vehicle Info, and uh, this Vehicle Info table has information about you know last name of somebody, the department that they're in, their phone extension, the make of their car, the model, the vehicle color, the license plate number, and the sticker number. So to create a query, what you do is you go to the Create tab. You then go to uh, uh, Query Design. So let's say we want to find um, all the people that have a vehicle that has the color black. So I would go to Quer Query Design. This would come up. It would ask me what you know information do I want to add. Well, I want the vehicle information table. That's one I was just looking at. So I double click that to add it close this and what fields do I want to add um, do I want to be displayed as part of the query well I'm gonna choose last name department phone extension and uh, let's do um, make model and vehicle color of the car so now these things are going to be displayed um, I'd like for them to be displayed according to last name in ascending order and let's say for vehicle color I go to my criteria right here, and I want all the black cars, so I'm going to say like black. So I'm narrowing my, my search, uh, and this is what a query is. It's a, you, you have all this data out there, and you want to narrow what you're looking for, so you want to re, uh, return the results. So from here, I'm going to go up to where it says run, and I'm going to run the query. And you'll notice that I've got four records that are returned. Uh, notice that the last name um, is in alphabetical order. And here is my vehicle color. And it's these are all the people that own black vehicles. So we've got Edstrom, Mayer, Reyes, and Rodriguez. So if I want to go back to my design view, I just come back up here and I click on this. It'll take me back to the design view of the query. Let's say um, that I don't want any... Um, vehicle information I just want to see the people their department and their phone extension well it's important that I have this information here especially this vehicle color information but I can select I can deselect this right here because I don't want this to show when I run the query so now if I click on run right here it's only going to display these three things but this is queried by um, the vehicle color being black if I want to save this query I go to save and I'm going to save it as query one click OK. You'll notice over here now in the uh, navigation pane, I think that's what, it, that, that's what it's called, that's right, the navigation pane, my query one shows up because I've got things listed um, to show all access objects. So let's create another query. I'm going to close this one and I'm going to go to create. I'm going to go to query design and I want to add vehicle info close. So this time I just want to do last name, department, and um, let's say I want to choose, um, let's say the make of the car. Now, I want to bring back everybody that owns, let's say I want to bring back everybody that owns a, uh, a Honda or a Ford. So there are two ways that we can do this. Looks like I lost my query too that I was creating. Let me go ahead and I'll create that again. So I want to bring back everybody that owns a Honda or a Ford. So I want to show last name, department, and make of vehicle. So for criteria, I could do um, like, let's say Honda, um, or Ford, and this would give me what I want. Notice it returns everybody that has a Honda or a Ford. Another way that I could do it is I could use the in operator, in parentheses, Honda, comma, Ford. 
in parentheses. If I ran this, it would also return the same thing. So the in um, operator is another good way to do all this. So I'm going to go ahead and save this query. I'm going to save this as uh, query 3. And notice it shows up right here. Uh, let's go ahead and let's close this query. Let's look back at our uh, data here. And look at the sticker number right here. What if I want to find everybody that has a sticker number that's um, over, let's say, 2,000? So let's go to Create. Let's go to Query Design. Let's add Vehicle Info. Let's go Close. Let's add Last Name, Department, and let's add Sticker. So if I want to show everyone that has a st uh, sticker number over 2,000, I'd say greater than 2,000. And here we have everybody that has a sticker number over 2,000. What if I wanted to display everybody that has a sticker number um, in between 2,000 and 5,000? I could do the following. I could say um, less than, I'm sorry, greater than 2,000 and less than 5,000. Could run this and this would give me everybody that has one in between those. Or I could just simply use the between operator and say between 2,000 and 5,000. And this would also work. One more thing about queries. Sometimes uh, if you have, let's say, a date, and if you are trying to search for information in between a date, uh, you would use the number symbol. Whenever you're dealing with a date, you have to have a number symbol for and after your date like this. And you could do a between with a date or if you're looking for, let's say, you know, everything that happened after January 1st, uh, January 2nd, 2002, you'd use the greater. If you were looking for stuff that happened before, you'd use the less sign. So this is a quick review of uh, queries and uh, using operators to generate those queries.